but they have enough memory to fetch a new tool when it breaks. I'm just not sure how it works with the, uh, the loop situation. Okay. Let's just drop this off. I am... probably going to be fine. Uh, let's see. So let's crank this guy up. Record. Move to discharge bot. Recharge bot. Loop. Forever. Okay, let's stop this for a second. Edit record max area. Unfortunately, there's only so much I can do, but this guy, this guy will just exist. Uh, let's see. So, go. So next up, do we, we have a spade in there. So you use held. So stop, record, repeat until held object is empty. Move to crate. Okay, there we go. I didn't know if we could have multiple loops going. Okay. Until hands empty. There we go. Okay, so that should work. So, next order of business, this guy's pissed off. He needs an axe. So stop, record, move to crate, retrieve crude axe. Okay, so until hands empty. All right, there we go. So now, now they will retrieve. Let's get that last box going so we can have them automate their their tool retrieval. And as far as recharge bots, I might just handle that manually until we can get bots with larger coverage areas or something. Because as it stands, I've got a couple of bots that exist outside of the current working zone, and I'd rather just have a bot that just kind of does that on its own. Oh, you know what? Um... Let's, let's have him go up here. That way, when this guy doesn't have anything to do, he just hangs out. So what's this guy doing? Uh... What the hell does this guy have? got a stick that he shouldn't have. Maybe I gave it to him. Maybe he screwed it up. We'll figure it out later. Okay, so... Not the most... Not the best setup. But I'll take what I can get. And then eventually I'll be able to make this more efficient but that'll be much later date. I am really appreciating where this is going. It's it's charming. It's got some fun mechanics. Boy, every robot is currently out of charge. All at once. How does that happen? Okay. 
so you are Logbot. Let's see. Let's edit. So pick up stick. Nope, that's a pole. That's a stick. Okay, and this should work. Well, let's grab this pole, let's get it out of here. Okay, so charge bot is going very painfully slowly, but that's fine. Uh, let's see. So I guess next order of business, at least for me. Hey, official planning, mining. So I get Mac and Sylvester. Commemorative slap. Is that sucker just going to be insanely tall by the time we're done? Probably. drop these off. At some point I will have to get a higher stock and move them out here. Hmm. I guess what I'd need is just a a robot that oh boy. I think I'm gonna have have to have a robot for each one of these tools, aren't I? Okay. I... Mm. I don't know if I want this, but I might need a robot. What is... Wait, hold up. Charge bot, what are you doing? Oh. Charge bot's chargeable area is tiny as shit. I was wondering why ChargeBot was not charging. Okay, so this is full up. Uh, let's see. I don't know if this is going to work. He might run out of memory way too fast. The problem is, yeah, let's see. Okay. So this is, this should be... Worry about one. Edit, uh, let's see, until hands empty. Move to crate. Grab. Also loop forever and start. Okay, that should work.
Okay, so I have a tool maker. Oh, this is a pickaxe. Well, this is... This is going to be messy. And these guys are all out of power, so let's fix this. See, is this an early access thing? I actually don't know if this is early access or not. I don't think it is. Somebody else can chime in, but I, I think this was in, like, uh, closed beta for a while, because a number of YouTubers apparently had already played it. Uh, let's see. And now it's, now it's actually, like, publicly available. Which, honestly, I think works. This game doesn't really seem like it's early access, nor do I think it needs to be early access. Okay. That's a record. Let's see. Until this is full. Until this is full. Okay. Yeah, otherwise I'm just going to end up with a large stock and I don't need that. It'd be nice if I could actually have it... Have one robot make all of these, but we need way more memory before I can even get to that point. <sighs> okay. Good. Oh. Record. Grab stone. Deliver. Grab stick. We're gonna need more sticks. So, we're gonna cap out once they're done. I just might have to go get a bunch of sticks myself to fill it out for a little bit. Nope. And let's see, until this is full. Yeah, we're actually running out of sticks. We're good on logs, the sticks just ain't spawning. Which means we're probably going to want to get a separate stick, separate stick bot entirely. Oh god damn it! Did you're log bot, aren't you? Or no? Okay. Well, this needs to be recharged. That's charge bot. Okay, so hole digger bot is still doing its thing. Where's which one of these is log bot? Yeah, so it looks like the main issue is we just don't have a high enough stick production currently. Oh, I can just go retrieve all of the sticks from throughout the world. Uh, let's see. So let's get this going again. Because, yeah, the problem is we're actually starting to stack up a little bit on, on logs. Oh, I need one less than that. Grab sticks. So these are full up, but that's fine. There's not a whole lot of reason to have them going, at least until this starts depleting. Okay, so how's, how's Stickbox doing? Stickbox is actually not doing so hot, but that's fine. We only need to have this guy going once. Uh, hold up. Okay, that'll get him to stop. Okay, record. Pick up stone. And drop it off at the workbench. So yeah, we're just gonna have one robot 
for each of these tools, and then I'll have a third robot that checks to see if there's a tool in waiting, and then delivers it. Because as it stands, just... Oh. I really wish they'd just stop dead in their tracks for a moment. Okay. Let's see. Until question mark is full, question mark being this box. Okay, so that's full up. This is good. Pickaxes are good. And yeah, I'll have to... I'll have to reactivate them. I wonder if I could have a separate loop. Maybe. I can test that. Okay. So that's going to cause him to freak out. But if we're lucky, that means... I guess let's test that with Plankbot. Yeah, so if I if I wrap it in a secondary loop, uh, the moment it's... Uh, the moment that one storage becomes not full, it goes back to production. And rinse repeat. Cool. What are you doing? Okay, so this is the crude crude axe one, and he's just gonna be hanging out there. Alright, well that's fine. Uh so last lastly Oh, charge charge bot is out of charge. I guess what I could do is just have a secondary charge bot. That specifically handles the secondary area, and the two charge bots can. Huh. Yeah, that could work. Because I will need a charge bot to charge the charge bot. And if I had a secondary charge bot that handled, like, this lower half, and this guy just stood down in that area, I think I'd be okay. Alright, uh, let's see. These tools are starting to stack up. I'll just handle it myself for the moment. Okay, so we want to do another lo log. Okay, one pole. We throw in our inventory. I should I should probably use my backpack a lot more often because I haven't been, and it would actually help for trips like this. I don't know if I can put logs. gonna grab one of those. Record. Hmm. I guess I'll have to handle the rest myself. Because yeah, he doesn't have enough memory to get that last one. Alright. So we're also going to do... We want to just move some things. So I want to move this over here. And this over here. Okay, so we're just going to drop that off. These guys seem to be having a fit. Oh, I see. I guess the one thing I could do is actually have him stop pulling from the output 
on planks, which doesn't seem to be working. By the way, I thought it was going to work. And we could actually just have him pull out of the plank storage. I guess it, yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea because we'd fill up pretty quick anyway. Okay, we get the basic wood yard, so I get a tree top and a tree hat. At some point, I'll be able to make these things. Okay, so let's take a look at you. Find nearest plank in... Okay, I guess I'm just gonna undo all of these. Okay, so it doesn't have enough brain. So it'll just have to move one at a time. It'll probably get... Okay, do until... This is full. And then wrap that in a, another forever loop. Oh, it is full. Okay. So if I just grab one of these, yoink. That ain't full, boy. Okay, so I guess there's some kind of threshold ish. Okay, uh, let's see. So he is. He is sufficiently confused. Let's take a look at this guy. So, find nearest plank in. Okay, there we go. And this shouldn't matter too much. Because this guy won't be robbing him of planks here anymore. At some point I might have a, a bot that specifically handles these instead. But that'll be later. Okay. So next up, your charge bot. Yeah? Charge bot. So stop or get rid of that. Let's just have him stand here. The reason why I want him to move there is unless he runs out of power on the way to one of the other bots, he should be able to just handle stuff. I don't know. This is mostly working. What's this guy up to? So he's looking for crude axes. He's not going to find it. I... Maybe I should have done some other things. I don't, like, pick one of these guys up and move them. Okay, so this is the stone storage bot. Ah, uh, let's see. So in that case, we want to record... Set that to loop forever. There we go. Okay, grab this. Oh, and I've got an axe in my, my inventory, but I guess that's fine. Because I can just leave that there. Okay, so I'm going to need three planks and a stick. Automation! It's slow. But sooner or later, 
the whole thing will be fully automated and I won't have to look at it again. Until my output needs to increase and then I'll have to be like, Oh god, who built this stupid thing? And then I'll cry because it was me. But yeah, I will have to echo a little bit what uh, Tyson uh, is saying. You guys are being very backseaty, so if it seems like I'm not playing attention, uh, paying attention to anybody, it's because, like, y'all are telling me how to make things better, and I really don't care. Let me learn this. Uh, if you want to play, if you want to play WanderBot on remote control, uh, just play the game yourself. There's plenty of bots that need directions that aren't me, because I'd rather learn this on my own than just listen to what people tell me, because that very quickly feels unsatisfying. Okay, uh, let's see. So you're charge bot, yeah? Okay. Copy script for sharing. Oh, is that for sharing with other people? Maybe I can do that with this guy. I can't, like, I can't paste my own? That's dumb. Okay, uh, let's see. So, record. Move to bot. Charge. Okay, recharge bot. Then, unfortunately, this guy's gonna have to hang out inside the, uh, chargeable zone for the other guy. But that's okay. Alright. Let's do max area. And let that go. Wait. Oh, shoot. I think I just undid... I really wish it wouldn't bother me every single... Yep, I just undid everything. I really wish hitting escape there wouldn't... Uh, wouldn't cancel all of my instructions. Because that's stupid, and I don't know why that's a thing. Alright, so now that should go. That should charge things. I think... Yeah. Okay, so this this area is covered for recharging. Which means, hopefully, these two, two bots will charge each other and handle all of the other uh, uncharged bots. I guess except for the whatever ones in this area, but this'll, this'll be fine. Uh, let's see. Oh, right. Tool production is getting out of hand. So in that case, this guy is useless. At some point, I'll have a bot that handles uh, tool gathering and, and moving, but I think I'll just have the production bots handle that. Okay, so I'm just I'm just gonna keep him as a weird brain dead bot and figure out what I'm going to do. Oh, wrong axe. Uh, let's see, so what do I want to do next? I guess I should probably take a look at new... new plans, so robotics. I made bots, but I haven't made a bot team yet. Oh no, we're gonna have to have colonists? Okay, so how do bot teams work? Unfortunately, I think this is one of the things that I actually needed the uh, tutorial on. Because that is a, not a super obvious mechanic. Uh, let's see. Wood bots, these guys are doing maybe okay? What's up with you? Okay. 
Okay, so that just means that they're they're searching. I see, so I pull this up for robust bot search. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna have to charge that, because, yeah, he went out of bounds, and I can't do anything about it. Let's see. So that's good. These guys are out of charge. None of these guys have anything to do. And now to make them beep boop somewhat per perpetually. And we still haven't figured out what I want to do with this one. So how do I do teams? I'm assuming it's it's got to be something that I I pick as part of this. Or maybe teams are here. Aha! Create new team. Uh, let's see. So we're gonna just call this one tools. Uh, let's see. Drop everything to me, start all, stop all. Okay, well, the tools are going to be brown. And... I really wish I could select these guys while they're moving. Okay. So now we gotta figure out how do we get... Okay. So now we've collapsed that. Uh, how many more do I have to make? So I made a bot, one bot team. Uh oh. So where's charge bot one? Let me guess. Yep, this asshole ran out of power right in between. Yeah, who charges the charge bots? Generally, the other charge bots, unless they move just out of the way. That's obnoxious. Uh, I wish you could almost have it charge a specific bot instead. Okay, so who are you? Wait, no, it's not donkey, it's mule. I'm gonna just name all of these. For you. You are dig. Uh. How is Johnny Five spelled? Okay, so J O H N N Y. Okay, so we've got Johnny Five Apple Seeds, and this is... Digbot 1. 
so we're gonna just have Lumber Team. They're also going to be brown. Let's see. Woodbot 9003. All right, there we go. Here's your robotics commemorative slab. That thing is going to get out of hand. Maybe I can move it around. Okay. Here's a new set of plants to complete. To get the colonization process underway, you can choose either fruit or mushrooms as a food source. Okay, so I can start a lesson on these things. So, berries released, mushrooms dug, and then colonists. Oh, no. I don't want to deal with people. What's up here? What's wrong with you? Oh. Okay, so we're going to have to think about this with tools. We're going to end up with a bunch of extra tools, I guess, but that's not the end of the world. Okay, let's close this down. So, at this point, we've got a somewhat sustainable system. It's a bit of a mess, and I'd like to clean it up at some point, but we're going to get more... Uh, we're going to get way smarter bots eventually, with like way, way more depth to them. So I think I might just kind of leave this as stupid and then refine it later as opposed to making it perfect now. When I don't need to and I think that would be a pain. Uh, it does look like we we're going to have some problems with like output. But then again we've got like max unlock storage. Eh, not quite max unlock storage. Eventually max unlock storage. Let's see. And yeah, so we'll probably... Actually, what we might almost want to do... Here, I'm gonna go to this guy. Stop your shenanigans, No more sticks. You are logbot. Okay, do we have a stick here? We do have a stick here. Moves to stick. Obtain stick. Drop off stick. Because, yeah, it's about time that we actually diversify that one. Because eventually we we're going to have one of those storages fill up and the other empty out, and that was going to be a problem. Okay, uh, let's see. So the next thing is change this. Probably set that to max area. And go. I made that larger. I was wondering about wondering about how oh. Okay, there we go. So other Oh, you I know why it keeps resetting that. Because I can't just close that, I have to hit go. I realize that I I know exactly why it is the way it is, but that is kind of frustrating all the same. And yeah, at some point I could get some more log storage, but eh. But, like, realistically looking at this, we actually have all the resources we could need, because I straight up can't do anything more. Next order of business would automate making more robots, but that could suck too, because... Eventually I'm going to get a better robot, and I... Eh, yeah, we'll leave that for later. So, I'm going to say this is good enough, and stop here at least for the time being mainly because i actually have a completely other automation uh another automation game that i want to check out today and see which one is is good and which one is well if they're both good i'm assuming they're both good this one's pretty dang good it's just a matter of like getting used to it and really making everything efficient as opposed to my like super hack job situation uh Yeah, eventually we've got to fix that. Because we were just going to have a stupid shovel pile into the sky. Uh, let's see. So yeah, we'll come back to this in a couple of days, if I've got the time. I'm certainly enjoying it. It's going to get more complicated, and I'm going to be eventually just be like, Ugh. I love the fact that there's programming in this, though. That it's not pure conveyor belt 
related nonsense. That said, I do wish I had a little bit more fine control and conveyor belts. Like, it's a little annoying that I have to have a robot fairy tools from this crafting bench into this box. And hopefully at some point, maybe I can, yeah, just have a proper conveyor system that that doesn't involve that. Because I, I enjoy the amount of robots that we've got rolling around, but I feel like a mix of robot, like robots and other automation would actually be kind of nice. Because yeah, if I could actually get rid of all of these little robots and have each one of these workbenches properly, you know, just as long as they get the resources, they just m make the thing. Yeah, Factorio plus human resource machine, which is pretty much what this is. But if it had a little bit more Factorio in it, I think I'd have more fun. But that said, this is just the first, what, two hours of this game? I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't have a lot more later on in the game. We just have to get there. I just wish I had some of it a little bit sooner so that I didn't have to have so many redundant robots doing really basic tasks.